Yo, what's up, guys? Keeping it chill here, and welcome to reacting to uh, scary animations. I decided to bring this back from last year. If you guys know, know um, last year or two, I reacted to some scary animations. Um, I kind of stopped a little bit around in the middle of October just due to a copyright a claim and strike from one of the YouTubers, which I'm which I'm not gonna talk about, but. Regardless, we're gonna um, still re even so we're still gonna react to two uh, horror story animations. Uh, one called Dream Milk's Milk's Face Reveal, and another one called Salad Fingers, I believe. So we're gonna react to those two animations in particular. If you guys want to check out these two videos, I'm gonna leave t the original videos in the description down below. If y'all want to check them out, so that um, not only do, if y'all want to see it. Maybe I want to see it, like, in the future. Regardless, if y'all want to see those two original animations, if you guys want to see the original animations I reacted to in this video, I'm leaving them in the description. So without further ado, let's react to the first one from me, Cannon, called Dream Milk's Face Reveal. Now, first off, if y'all don't know, obviously, uh, if y'all don't know, obviously, Dream, um, hold, ah. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, so first off, y'all didn't know, Dream is known for his Minecraft, and he did a face reveal a couple of days ago, and it blew up like like crazy. And he he honestly looks really cool. As a, it's cool that he's doing a face reveal, and the fact that it it blew up not only Twitter, but like everywhere is crazy. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, react to it. Uh, Dream milks the face reveal. Hi. <laughs> This is so awkward talking to the camera for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Clay, also known as Dream. Yo, what's that chin, you, though? You may have heard of me or, or not. Well, this is my face reveal, and this is what I look like. Okay. I'm so happy to reveal my face to you. And I'm he happy sounds sarcastic. to be with friends and make IRL content. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I probably won't show my face in future videos. Just a heads up, but... <laughs> yep, here's my face. So thanks for watching. Thanks. When he originally did his face reveal, honestly, he looks really, uh, he looks handsome. That's all I was about to say. He, he looks really cool. That he does, he, like I said, he did a face reveal, really cool. The fact, and he, he looks cool. I remember a lot of people roasting him in the, in like Twitter and whatnot. But I think he, he's honestly cool. He's, he looks cool with his, with his face reveal and whatnot. You did good, Dream. Very good. No. Well, it feels wrong not revealing my full face. I, I feel like I'm lying to everyone. Sweet baby. Does baby want some milk? Yeah, that's oh. good. I love it. Uh, good here. What Watch. the hell? Uh, my sweet <laughs> what the hell? By showing your face. You oh, yeah. Uh. What was once a name? What the hell? Mm. What the hell? What is, what is this? <laughs> so much delicious milk for every teary eyed fan who saw your face. <laughs> what the hell? You make it sound so wrong. Like I'm manipulating millions of people who are what is that? Like he's... attached to me in the deep. Of those well, I'm not even going to say what that is, oh, but. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Look at homie's huh? teeth, though. Just hungry. Oh, you're oh, right. Got your back. Oh. There you go. That's my sweet. <laughs> what the hell? Feed until your belly is nice and full. We have so much milk to give. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's it? Hold on. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> First off, animation looks honestly dope. It looks, it's a little weird, but I kind of like it. First off. But what the, what the hell is this? First off, look at the mouth though. Second off, what is this? And and what the, what the hell was, what the hell is, <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, I'm not even ask. The animation is pretty cool though. I'm I have to give it that. Okay, the next one we're gonna be reacting to is called Salad Fingers One Spoons HD by the YouTube channel 
Sal, uh, David Firth. <laughs> I almost said Salad Fingers, but uh, Dave Firth. Now, I've heard of the show before, and he's known for making like a lot of Salad Fingers videos. And I think he has like a lot of them, so, but we're going to react to the uh, first one and kind of see maybe we might react to the whole thing. Who knows? But let's go ahead and watch the first one. This one's only two minutes, so it should be short. So let's go ahead and see what you got. Oh, wow. This is Salad Fingers. Hello. What's up? I like rusty spoons. Okay. I, I like to touch them. <laughs> the feeling of rust against my salad fingers is almost orgasmy. <laughs> <laughs> I must find okay. the perfect spoon. <laughs> Image is not bad, honestly. Oh my god, it's so loud, dude. Uh, <laughs> Look at his eyes, dude. Young child, <laughs> I'm here to inquire about your spoons. Oh. <laughs> Uh, uh. Yo. Might I ask where you keep the spoons? Why do you want to know about my spoons? <laughs> you don't need them, dude. You already have one. I see. Then I must leave. But first, I'd like to caress this rusty kettle. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask. Honestly, cool animation though. I I respect it, and the fact that they they keep up the grind, low key, fire. Honestly. Okay. I just said that we're gonna do uh two an two uh uh animation, but we had I had just checked on Lom Art for a second, and four months ago he he did a animation story of a terrifying morning jog story animation. So I figure screw it, let's go ahead and watch this real fast. And yeah, we haven't it can't be a horror story without the the homie Lom Art. So I figure why not? Like I said, if you guys want to see the original uh animation, I'm believing in the description. Uh let's go. Lama Arts is so goaded with his animations, man. This story is told from perspective of a woman. All right. Before heading to my local community college for classes, I'd like to wake up at around five in the morning for a brisk morning jog. It okay. helps clear my head and definitely helps wake me up so I can focus in class. When I first started, I wish I had that type of a day. Usually, I would just like get up around like like an hour before or either 30 minutes before and I'll just get dressed take a shower real fast and then I'll just go I don't have like morning jogs like that Absolutely. I wish I had but over time I grew accustomed to it and it's now a highlight of my day however as time went on I found myself becoming quite uncomfortable not in a physical <laughs> I got the squidward so sound it effects was like my fight or flight instincts began kicking in seemingly at random I'd whip my head around to see if anybody was following me or even peeking at me through the wooded park in which I ran, but couldn't see anybody. Okay. It didn't help that it was dark, either. So even if there was somebody creeping in the dark, there was no way I could tell. As an extra precaution, I started carrying around some pepper spray in order to fend off any would-be attackers. That's more right there. But as time went on and that eerie sensation occurred more and more, I just couldn't bring myself to run anymore. A friend of mine, Daniel, a self-proclaimed runner himself, told me that I shouldn't worry about it. He said that the mind plays tricks on oneself when it can't see things clearly, especially in the dark. Okay. After being reassured by him, I decided to give jogging another go. 
So today, like any other day, I slapped on some black leggings, tied my hair up in a ponytail, put on my kicks, and set my music volume to full blast. And I would usually door. have like jogs going by, but not fantastic. like in the morning. I would usually do them around like loving the cool breeze and around the seven to eight. Air. But then, like about halfway into my jog, a tall and hooded figure stepped out onto the path in front of me. Quickly, I pulled out my pepper spray and yelled at the person to leave me alone. The person quickly pulled down their hood, revealing themselves to be Daniel. Bro, why are you I just here? I relief as he approached and laughed at how funny it was that we ran the same path. I expressed to him that I felt safer knowing he was around. No, I wouldn't. Daniel, however, stepped a little too close and gave a crooked smile. See? He said that of course I was safe with him, as apparently I had been safe with him for weeks. The realization mm -hmm. of what he did quickly dawned on me as his hands began to creep their way around my waist. I screamed at him to let me go and prepared to spray him, but he slapped it out of my hand and uh -oh. proceeded to grab my throat. With strange oh, snap. screams, I begged him to let me go and for someone to help me. He yelled at me and tightened his grip, asking why I wasn't thankful for his watchful eyes for the past several weeks. Boy, what the hell? personality change from the once gentle friend Gilly's kicking my son pretty soon I started to black out and grow weak but just before passing out I could hear the sounds of dogs barking and an older man screaming for Daniel to let me go in a panic he released me and ran back what the hell is that? The woods. I gasped for air before I began sobbing as the man escorted me out of the park and brought me straight to the police station. Yo, and that's despite odd. my fears and reservations, I told them everything I knew about Daniel, or what I thought I knew, and what he had done to me. They immediately sent a patrol car out and told me that everything would be okay. The next day, I heard Daniel never showed up to class. He had been arrested several hours later after <laughs> I left the police station and confessed to everything with a disgusting amount of self-righteousness. Wow. He was recorded as saying, She needed me. Only I can protect her. Who knows what could have been hiding in those woods. And who are you tell me that? It took me a while to feel comfortable going back to school. And even then, my trust in people was never the same again. I guess even the ones you were close to can snap just like that at any time. Wow. Dang, that was, that, wow, that was, that was crazy. See, that's the thing. Like, you know your friends, like, close like that, but you don't know, like... Thank you for sticking around. Okay, oh, oh, snap. Videos. You look, you look want... a lot more arts. Even showing some merch. Um, but that's crazy, man. You just known your friend for so long, the fact that they, they was, they were, like, into you like that. Like, yeah, calm down, bro. I'm <laughs> just talking his friend, man. Once he saw, once he kind of, like, uh, started getting close to her, I was like, okay, he's, he's, he means business. <laughs> but good, yo, Shals, yo, that's, I'll give her props though for the pepper spray, even though it didn't do exactly, and like, nothing, the fact that she kept that was safe with her, that's big brain, that's a big brain moment. All right, y'all, but I'm ending right here. That was reaction to three, uh, scary animations, or creepy animations, from, uh, um, uh, with the Sal Fingers, we have to do the one with, uh, with Dream and we have to do the Llama Arts. Uh, let me know what animation y'all want to react to next. Um, if y'all like sort of th this content and whatnot. But other than that, if y'all like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.